Friends, I am standing right now on the top of a structure in our Agritech Park. City Greens Agritech Park is a private research and development facility spread over 1,45,000 square feet in which we have multiple different kind of growing environments and multiple different kind of farms. Now we are very much focused on sustainability and one decision that we took while creating the concept for this farm was that we are not going to draw a single unit of electricity from the grid and we are still going to make this farm work only on renewable energy. Now, there are two things that we decided to use. One is geothermal energy. I will talk about it in a separate video. The second one is the solar energy. In this video, I'll talk to you about using solar for running your farm. A farm integrated with solar system for generating electricity. Now, if you are serious about hydroponics or controlled environment agriculture, if you have been following the industry, you would know that operational cost of running a farm is high. And mostly whenever people talk about operational cost, the second biggest cost head after manpower is the cost of electricity. See, you can eliminate this cost head by using a renewable source or you can reduce the cost head, not even eliminate it. You can increase the chance of your profitability much higher. And that is what we are trying to do here by using solar. And this was probably the most difficult decision that we had to make because we were not able to find the right answers. If you look at the way the solar industry is incentivized or geared, at least in the Indian context, it mostly favors on-grid system, which are for rooftops and houses. But in our case, what we needed was a system which had a much higher capacity than what a typical house would need. And the second thing, we need climate control and hence we need the electricity. The demand is maximum during the peak summer hours, during the peak noon hours. And that is the time when there typically is electric power cut. And if you go for an on-grid system, that means during that peak power cut, you will not be able to use solar system at all. And you will have to rely on a diesel generator system or some alternate power source. So what we have done is we have opted for an off-grid system and not an on-grid system. This particular off-grid system, again, instead of laying it on the land, we have optimized the space and laid the panels out on the top of the roof where I'm standing right now. By choosing an off-grid system over an on-grid system, we have solved for the problem of power interruption when there is a cut from the grid supply. However, it has given rise to two newer problems. The first one is high cost of investment because if you go for an off-grid system, you need to invest in batteries, which is a huge cost. The second problem is what to do if your entire battery juice runs out, then you don't have any source of power. To do this, what we have done is we have used our automation suit to distribute the load over the day, over the 24 hours. For example, while we are running the climate control system during the daytime, we are running our indoor vertical farm during the night time. So if we are able to achieve a nearly 50% division split between day and night, we can reduce the amount of battery required by a large percentage, which is something that we have done using the automation suit available with us. Further, what we have done is we have developed another suit to, for farms which are integrated with solar power in which we have developed something called a economy mode. This suit monitors the amount of power or amount of battery available in the system. And depending upon how much battery is available, it prioritizes automatically different tasks in the farm to ensure that the power is routed to the systems which are critical for running of the farm to ensure that the farm still continues, the farming still continues without any interruption, even in case of low battery storage, even in case of low power availability. And so this is how we have taken a huge risk by totally going away from the coal generated power and depending only on renewable source of energy by creating a complete off-grid farm. This is probably the only such farm, only such facility in India. We believe with our technology, we can do it. And this is something we can do for the sustainability of the planet. Just one line of caution. Does it mean the off-grid solution is the best solution for farming? 
if that's the impression I gave you, I'm wrong. No, that doesn't mean that. For our particular case, off-grid work, we were willing to take the risk. But for your case, maybe off-grid may not be the right solution. Maybe on-grid may be the right solution. Maybe a hybrid system would be a better solution. The point is, when you are doing the planning phase, make sure you reach out to someone who understands farming, who understands solar, who understands sustainability, so that the person or the consultant or the company can give you the right solution which can help you save money and get a better value in the long term and also ensure that all the practices that you are involved in are sustainable, profitable and right for you and also right for the environment and this planet. Thank you and have a good day.